Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. So doing another modified design out in the uh, Paracord community there. So this is the modified JLC bar. So um, yeah, it's uh, another one of those slightly wider uh, bracelets, very similar to the uh, kind of Bane's cuff or the original Bane's cuff that was a lot flatter. But uh, overall, yeah, this one's a uh, a little bit wider than usual. We're doing this one not in loop because uh, we haven't done too many not in loop lately. But uh, you can, of course, modify this version to uh, be on buckles. Anyhow, uh, it's got those same style of knots we have on the Bane's cuff as well as the track knot and the trader knot. But it's got a really nice um, you know, crossover in the middle here. Very similar to the, uh, was it the T-Rex bar? So it's kind of like a mix of the T-Rex bar and the Bane's cuff, which looks you know, pretty nice. So here is the back side of it. It's quite nice too. But yeah, overall this one is uh, its not too difficult to do, but uh, would benefit from fids, and this one was a little bit time consuming. And just real quickly, let's give you guys a shot on the wrist here. So there it is. It's pretty good. Right, I love the way this one turned out. Turned out very clean. Cleaner than I thought it would. Alright, so that being said, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so I got my paracord ready. Got my two strands of gold and one of navy. Navy is my main working strand and gold are the core strands. All measurements will be in the video, of course. So uh, let's start this out the same way we do the Mad Max Bane's cuff. So we're going to take our two strands, gold strands. You're going to take a make a loop with the navy. And you're going to do just kind of like a cow's hitch. So put the loop over, pull that through like that. So you should be like this. Right? That's what you kind of want there. Very simple. Now, this part's always a little tricky. My strands are a little long, so just bear with me. Take the strand on the right. Gonna put that through here. Pull that through. And I'm gonna take the strand on the left. And put that through as well. Through that loop we created. Pull that through. And then when you flip it around, you cinch this shut, and this forms our loop. Okay? You've seen me do that before. It's the same one we're doing today. You could do this one Mad Max style if you wanted to, just make this loop really small, but uh, we're doing not in loop. Okay, so there we go. Cinch that up really tight. Make your one and a half inch loop for your diamond knot. And now we can get ready to weave. Uh, I'm gonna hitch this up uh, to something solid up there. And then I'm gonna take my clip and clip these strands down here, just cause uh, the way this one works better without a jig. All right, so I'll do that and then we'll start weaving. Okay, so now for the main body of the bracelet. This one's a little bit tricky to show, so I'll show you with my hands and then I'll try to use some fids as well. So here's how we're gonna start. Got our working strands uh, coming out left and right. I'm gonna go left through here. And I'm using a lot of cords, so bear with me. Left through the right, and then right through to the left. Okay. So now you're gonna take I'm going to start with the strand on the right. You're going to go behind and through this gap here. And then pull the cord through the middle gap right here. Right, right through there. Okay, so we've got that. I'm going to try to tie this knot a little loosely first just to show you. And then we're going to do the same with the other side. So bring that behind through this gap here. 
and then right through this little opening right there. This is very similar, of course, to the uh, those knots you tie on the side for the Bane's cuff, as well as the track knot, I believe. Or is that the trader? Oh yeah, the trader knot. Okay. So now that we have this, here's what we're going to do. You're going to take this strand here, bring it down here, right? And then you're going to put it through. So I'm use my fit as a pointer. You can put it through this gap right here. Okay. I'm going to show you once with just my fingers and then can use a fit for clarity after. So you know my fat fingers tend to get in the way. All right, so we've got that. Now, bring this loop down a little bit here, like that. Okay. And then from here, now this strand, you know, it's this one here. Go underneath this strand here and then go over top and through this opening right here, right there. Okay. So underneath this one, then over top this one and then through that one. Okay. So I know that might've been a little confusing, but I'm going to go through that again with FIDS so I can show you. Now it's just a matter of pushing everything up and cinch it all together. Okay. So try to get all the slack out. I know this one's tied a bit loose because I wanted to show you guys. Okay. But you'll know you have it right when you have that X in the middle there. These, these two knots on the side. See, I wouldn't even pull that excess out, but I'll fi fix that later. Okay, so now let's go again with the fids. Okay, so I got a slightly closer angle now. I'm going to use some fids in the later uh, steps. So let's go again. Um, I'm going to go left through. Bring that through. Right through as well. Okay, now I'm going to attach my fids. Start with the right side. So again, with this strand across the third and fourth core strand, we're going to go underneath it like so. I'm going to go through the top here. And there we go. That's one side. Let's put that down for now. Next, same thing on the other side. Go across first and second strand. Bring all this through. Okay, and then bring that up top here through that gap. Bring all that through there. Okay, now we have this. So now for this strand, going to bring this one behind like so through here like that and then this one is going to go over top through that gap there okay bring all that through There's where you should be now. And now for this strand on the left now, remember this one's gonna go through here. We're gonna go under this strand and then over the second strand and bring it through this way, okay? Oh, 
And then we play our cards right, push everything up, cinch it shut, get all the excess out. Okay, and there we go. So that is the, the pattern. I've done two now. You're just going to continue making your way uh, down your bracelet here. And these are really loose, remember. I've, I need to tighten them up. Um, so keep everything nice and tight as you go along. Right? And um, make our way down and then we'll finish it off near the end. Okay, so I've woven down the length of my bracelet. It took a good amount of time, actually. So, the way we finish it off, these two cords work out very well where they are. I think we can just snip and cinch them, and they will be quite secure. So now, to um, end it off, we've got our four strands here. Oops. And um, let's just tie two Solomon knots to lock everything down. Let's tie one like that. And don't pull too hard, though, because you might deform the bracelet. There's one, and then let's tie a second one. Like that, and just kind of give it a little tug, pull that excess out, lock it down nice and tight. Okay, so that's good. And now, just going to snip and singe um, these two cords, snip and singe these two, and then I'm going to tie the diamond knot right here. All right, there we have it guys, I'm done. So, snipped and singed off all the excess paracord. We have the Solomon knots there, and the diamond knot, and back there, looks good too. This one turned out excellent. Um, I love how clean this one came out for a knot and loop especially, so it worked out great. All right, so this has been the modified JLC bar paracord bracelet. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Remember to check out uh, my good friend that uh, shared this tutorial on Instagram. I'll link his uh, feed down below, but uh, yeah, this one turned out sweet. Guys, remember, if you're looking for where to get Paracord and all the tools I use in this video, check out those affiliate links down below. As you shop through those, you're helping out this channel greatly, and I always appreciate that. Right? Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.